To be honest, uh, we fought really hard. At least to win one or two games. There was a four game that uh, we should win. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a small team. They are big teams. If you give them a chance, they will take the momentum back from you. And that's why it's happened to be also. We got the opportunity to grab a basic stick before the chase the score. So, this calculation is very And uh, the main thing I was injured. Uh, maybe I was hurt. Fit. The situation will be changed in the last two years, but unfortunately I got hamstring very badly, even I couldn't walk. So that's why the last tour of the game was very, very expensive. And, uh, but the boys uh, played really well, uh, such a great cricket, and uh, two thirty runs in, against Pakistan. Uh, it's a big team. It's not easy, but uh, I have to congrats to the boys. And I really well. Personally, I mean your last match, your farewell match. And you must have been looking forward to winning this for the team. Of course, uh, it wasn't my wish to go like this, uh, to be honest. Uh, and uh, I was uh, very, very keen and very happy was playing in my last ODI. I was in very good mood. I bought really well the store, the pace, and I was like, ready to go. But suddenly, I don't know what happened in the second row. My hamstring was totally like gone. I feel like it's something broken inside in the hamstring. And I couldn't continue my bowling. And uh, when uh, in four hours, like, I felt a little bit emotional. Uh, because in four hours, when they need uh, five hours, 48 runs, and that time I missed myself a lot. Because if I was there, uh, and Nabi told me and the ball was also reversing. And maybe you, if you are there, the situation will be changed. But uh, I want to. Uh, sorry to all my country, to the fans, to the people uh, that I couldn't continue uh, my bowling in the game. And I have to say uh, a goodbye to cricket uh, as a ODI. And I will continue my T20 cricket for the next one or two years. And maybe after two years, I'll stop also T20 cricket. Do you think uh, you know this World Cup uh, will leave with the regret that Afghanistan could have done better? They came with so much expectation. Uh, absolutely. Lost too many games. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, man, I only told before there were uh, four matches that we should win, like Sri Lanka game, uh, the Bangladesh game, uh, because uh, the Pakistan game uh, we missed today, and there was a plenty of opportunity to win it. But it's big teams, as I told, and if we give them a chance. Uh, they will take the advantage and the boys uh, played really well they fight really hard and in the end we played well we will be the winner so Shadab and um, Imad partnership was the one that took the game from us but uh, what is the the big lesson learned from the World Cup for Afghanistan like which is the departments which it needs to areas which needs to work on I think uh, the batting uh, must improve because uh, bowling was exceptionally outstanding throughout the World Cup. Uh, uh, we restrict Sri Lanka 200 runs, uh, like uh, Bangladesh 260. They scored 300 plus in every single game. So it means the bowling is good. Only one game. Last question. Uh, against England, we scored. 395 something, but rest of the other matches, uh, boys really well. But it's cricket. Uh, uh, if you play regularly against big teams, maybe Afghanistan will be much improved in the next two three years. Did you get over excited in this two overs you bowled and maybe pushed yourself too far? Sorry. In the two overs that you bowled, because it was we were so happy, we were looking forward to it. Did you push yourself too far? And maybe yeah, I don't know, but I was very excited. Uh, like as I said, I was ready to go, and I don't know. Allah knows everything better because He might be uh, in my destiny written something else. That you will fall two hours and then uh, you have to say bye bye to cricket. So yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Please just.